Hi, I'm Ken. I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how to paint uh, really nice looking eyes on your bisque pottery today. Uh, I've got a little princess piggy bank here. She's got just these creepy white eyes right now, but we're going to change that through the course of this video. So this is something that I often do for customers that kind of feel intimidated by that last little touch to make their ceramic look real. We're going to start with the iris color. That's the colored part of the eye. I'm just going to take, I don't want to load the brush up too much because I don't want to go over the edge. Usually I make my pottery have um, their eyes looking up just because it kind of looks like a little, a little cuter option than like looking down. Reminds me of like a puppy, puppy dog or something looking up at me. And I want to try and fill most of the eye there um, because if there's like a lot of white, it looks a little, um, a little crazy. So I'm just trying to, I don't know how well you can see here, but I'm going along the edges first at the top so I don't go over onto this skin and then I'm kind of connecting them and filling it in as I go. You still want to get like three layers for these, so once you've got that first one down and you've smoothed it out a little bit, you don't have any like peaks and valleys in the paint there. Just let that dry for a second and I'll go on to the other eye. So again, you kind of want to just eyeball it and make sure you, that you don't have um, the eyes looking in like two different directions unless that's what you're going for. Um, so I'll start again just by tracing the top of the eye so I don't go over onto the skin and then I'll kind of make a circle of the eye there. Again I'm trying to fill up most of the the white because if you think about it, when you look at someone's eye, you don't see mostly white, you see mostly the iris and the pupil. So. Go ahead and fill that in. And so now that I've got both of them made there, I don't know how close I am, but might be able to see that. Um, I'm just going to do another sh shot of paint with the other eye and hopefully this one I was just working on will be dry enough that I can go over it again in a moment. And you can get away with not going like a full three layers with the eyes because um, it's so small. They're probably like accidentally giving it enough coverage anyways. Um, but just try if you can. So I put down two kind of thick layers with the blue. The one's still a little bit shiny there. I'll show you that. And my next step here is putting down the pupil. I might need to wait for a touch that to dry on the one eye. I'm just going to put that down there. Some black. And I've actually put down like way too much here. You really only need like a tiny, 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 tiny little bit. Um, but that doesn't matter. So I'll just kind of take a look at her again. And I don't want to put it dead center in the eye. I want to kind kind of try and center it like in like where the center of the blue dot would be. So I'm going to put it a little bit above center here. And again, you don't want to have like a tiny little dot because that little pinprick pupil is a little, little offsetting. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. But again, I want to try not to go too large. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna 
put down another dot in the other eye here. All right, and there we have that. Um, I've still got to put the low lights and the highlights in there, but while I'm waiting for the pupils to dry, I'm going to put a little bit of um, some eyelashes here. And that's kind of the tricky part. Um, I have two ways that I do it. Uh, sometimes I just dot the end of my brush and you wanna be using like as tiny a brush as you can get. Um, uh, or I will mix a little bit of water with the black, but generally I don't do that because sometimes it can bleed. So let's just go ahead and put our brush in the black and even maybe brush some of it off just so that it, you don't have a thick like pearl at the end there. And I took too much off actually there. So really uh, the name of the game with the eyelashes, like less is more. You don't wanna have like some crazy situation going on. So start with the end and you can kind of draw just along the top there and maybe stop just like just right after it hits the, the blue part. So you've got just a little touch of eyelash there, but not um, the whole thing because it can get overboard really quickly. And it's a little difficult to maneuver the brush in such a tiny area. So I'm gonna do that again on this side. Again, not going all the way into the middle of the eye. So I'm just gonna get a little bit closer there you can see it's kind of coming together, but we've still got to put down the highlight and the low light. So I've got a different shade of blue here, pool party. You don't necessarily need to do a whole other shade of blue. If you do want to just cut the blue that you have with a little bit of white, you can do that also if you are like uh, low on paint or what have you. But I'm just going to put a little bit down here and you can see from my palette that I have like barely put any down. It's like hardly even a drop because you really don't need very much at all. So I imagine my princess has, she's like looking up at the sky or something. So we'll put the highlights up at the top here. A little bit of blue and that's really very minimal very very tiny amount that i'm putting there just kind of around one quarter of the circle and you want to try to like avoid going over the pupil we'll do that on the other eye here clean out my brush and for the low light i will take some of the base color that I had here. Maybe just get a little pearl of that right there. And just a touch, tiny, tiny little bit of black and mix that together for the low light. And just directly across from where you put the highlight up there, the opposite quarter of the circle, you'll just do the same thing, just a little like just a little tiny, not even a semicircle, like a quarter circle, I guess. So I'm gonna show you that up close right there. And you can kind of work it out a little bit because sometimes the low light can be a little stark on there. So I'm gonna just brush out the edges so it blends into the rest of the eye. You can really go crazy with eyes. I'm just trying to make it Fairly simple. Um, and then the last, last part is the little shine in the eyes. So again, I'm just gonna squeeze out some white here and like you hardly need any at all. That's way, way more than I actually need and it's not a lot of paint at all. Um, so I'm just going, oh, did I clean out my brush? Let me go ahead and do that. And this is the most satisfying part in my opinion. So you just go ahead and you load up the brush a little bit with some white. And I always like to try to hit a little bit of the iris and a little bit of the pupil 
right in the quarter where I put my highlight, I'll just put a little dot of the white. Right there. And then I've got my princess's eyes. She's all finished and uh, I guess I got a few more details, but the eyes are all done.